What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another medical school resource review. This time we're reviewing Sketchy Medical. Let me start off by asking you this. How many times have you had to memorize, say, a microorganism or a drug? And when I say memorize, I don't mean just, you know, knowing the disease the microorganism causes. It's more about its structure, you know, whether it's DNA or RNA virus, for example. And if it's an RNA virus, you know, is it positive sense, negative sense? What type of antigens does it have and how does it cause a disease? You know, I'm talking like real comprehensively knowing a microorganism. If you've done a science degree for your undergrad or if you're currently in medical school, you would know that even in first year, you, you get bombarded with over 50 different types of microorganisms to know and know them properly. And that's where the issue comes in, right? It's really hard to memorize pages and pages of notes of words that don't mean anything to you. Different, you know, stuff, aureus, streptococcus viridans, you know, these words don't mean anything to your brain. And when you start associating different terms to it, for example, you know, the same, a microorganism could be a DNA virus and then another microorganism could also be a DNA virus. And it's really hard to keep track of these things when you're trying to just memorize things that are not tangible to your brain. That's the problem Sketchy Medical tries to fix, right? They take away these dense pages and pages of notes that don't mean anything to your brain. And as such, you find it really hard to memorize into little storylines. For example, each bacteria has its own little 10 minutes, 15 minute storyline um, that will help you remember all of these different characteristics with different little characters and different elements in the image that you can quickly access in your brain if someone in the ward or in the exam needs you to call on this memorization. That's essentially what Sketchy Medical does. It turns this bland process of memorization into this more fun little stories which are more easy for your brain to grasp on and remember for a longer period of time. I'm gonna be splitting up this video into two parts. In the first part, we're gonna have a chat about whether Sketchy Medical is worth it, its pros, its cons. And in the second part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how I use Sketchy Medical. So my entire workflow of how I you know, go with university lectures and how I integrate Sketchy into that. And more importantly, how do I do active recall with the sketchy medical videos because although it's a cartoon it's easy to remember if you don't do space repetition and active recall nothing is really gonna stick let's start off by talking about what i think about sketchy medical i was introduced to sketchy medical by a friend who is a year above me so he's already started medical school when while i was still in my honors year he told me about how things just became so much more efficient for him because university lectures are usually, you know, an hour long and it's mostly didactic, especially in postgrad, and it that can be really hard to grasp concepts in one go. So I thought I would give it a shot. Suddenly these storylines did start helping me a lot, especially in first semester when we had to learn about infections, defenses and repair. Um, so just all the immune block. What I really liked about Sketchy is that how efficient it is, okay? I'm, I'm really big on efficiency and if Sketchy lectures became a little bit of a burden on me on top of my university lectures, I would straight up stop because I would obviously prioritize what my uni is specifically teaching me over a curriculum that's kind of broad and for the step one exam at the USMLE. I love Sketchy Medical because it is not an inconvenience. The videos are quite short and it covers a large amount of content that probably would have taken two or three university lectures to just list and get through properly. It is extremely high yield, which I really prefer because there's just so much to know. I just want to know, you know, the most high yield stuff, the most common or the most tested kind of thing uh, for exams and obviously the most common clinical presentations for when I do go to the wards. So the number one pro for the sketchy medical videos is that they're extremely short. Um, a bacteria will probably be around 10 minutes, so you can easily just smash that out after a lecture. The number one big props to Sketchy for being extremely efficient. And one of the big reservations I would say I had going into using Sketchy was that I thought, is it just another set of things I have to remember? For example, if I want to remember that say measles virus is gram negative, do I now have to remember another set of characters for me to get to that when I could just memorize that measles virus or RNA negative? Preservation did not hold because what I soon realized is that these storylines are not for you to memorize these storylines first to help you memorize the actual content. 
these storylines are more of a means for you to get to the content quicker, right? Like, hear me out. For example, just think of this as a catalyst, okay? So for a reaction, a catalyst speeds up the reaction. Think of it as when you're trying to access what type of virus was measles, the sketchy framework just makes it quicker for you to access it. It doesn't really take up too much space. And it's, honestly, it's not hard to memorize, especially I think majority of us would find it easier to remember a story than a page of notes. And the stories are are quite well set out. They don't feel random. That's another big pro. The stories for Sketchy Medical does not feel random. It's actually, it actually has a decent storyline. For example, it could be a baseball game and then there could be different levels in the stadium. So everything's still quite interconnected. It's not like suddenly at the baseball game in the middle of the field, there's a giant car, which doesn't make sense intuitively. So the storylines make sense intuitively, which is brilliant. Another big thing that I really like about Sketchy is that the memory hooks are consistent throughout the different videos. For example, if they use a bright sunny day to show you that a virus is RNA positive, for the next virus, it'll still be a bright sunny day. They don't really change it to give you another hook to remember an RNA positive virus. So as you're learning, say, 20, 30 different viruses, you, if you just remember the scenario and you see and in your head you see a sun straight away you know that it's an RNA positive virus so the memory hooks they keep it consistent which is another really good thing for example again if they want to use potassium or hyperkalemia they'll they'll have a banana somewhere it won't be like a new character or a new object in the image that you have to use to remember it uh, you get the point so those were some of the nitpicky pros that I really like about Sketchy number one the fact that the videos are short Number two, the fact that the stories are actually have a point. It's not like kind of irrelevant stories. And number three, the memory hooks are kept constant through each video um, if there is overlap between two different organisms. But the glaring biggest pro that I like about Sketchy Medical is that how easy it has made for me to learn these abstract concepts or these concepts that, you know, we just observe. There's no logical sense to it. If you're like me and you find it really hard to just pick up a piece of paper and just memorize it, and doing that 50 times over and not you know mixing things up i would highly recommend trying it out you could try a free trial i've left it the link in the description you could try it for free there's a lot of youtube videos they put out as well that's enough with the pros now let's talk about a couple cons that i think sketchy medical does have number one it's great for the microbiology and the the drugs however the, the for pathology it is not the best because Sketchy at its core is kind of for rote learning and if you're gonna rote learn different pathologies you probably won't end up with a really good idea of the actual physiology behind this pathophysiology so I would probably not recommend it for learning pathology there's some other really good resources for learning pathology Pathoma is a really good one I did make a video on Pathoma as well and how I integrated it with Anki so check that out if you're interested but for microbes and drugs, I think Sketchy does just fine. Another con that I think Sketchy has is that their review quizzes at the end of the videos are not the best, especially because the system um, does not really keep track of which questions you're getting wrong from one day to the next. I would definitely recommend using the Anki integration that I'm gonna talk about now to use with the Sketchy videos. I guess, I guess Sketchy is not meant to be like an active learning flashcard software. It's meant to be a set of videos to help you memorize things, but in the future, if they do upgrade their review uh, software a little bit more, I think it'll be brilliant. Overall, I think the pros severely outweigh the cons here, especially given how much time it's gonna save you. Let's talk a little bit now about how I actually end up using Sketchy from day to day. It's not just, you know, you watch a Sketchy medical video and you suddenly know everything there is about Staph aureus or whatnot. It is a little bit about how can we incorporate Sketchy into softwares like Anki which you can use every day. And you know, software is just built for active recall. This, this overlap between the best resources and the best flashcard software is kind of, for me, the ideal middle ground to find where you can learn from the best and then be tested by the best software as well. So what I usually do is say I had a lecture on um, five different organisms that say cause pneumonia. Okay, so I'll quickly watch the lecture on two times speed. Every lecture I usually just watch it on two times speed unless I'm attending it is because the first time I listen to anything, it's kind of like white noise. It just passes through. Nothing is really retained. I know I'm probably gonna watch two or three different resources uh, that dedicated videos on this topic anyway. Um, so yeah, say 30 minutes of watching the lecture. 
Next would be I would write down on Notion the different organisms that were tested and then I would locate them on Sketchy. So once I've located them on Sketchy, I wouldn't watch five different Sketchy videos in one day because then you are at a risk of mixing up the different stories. I would usually cap it at three different stories and then stop myself from watching any more. So I would watch those three different microorganisms and then I, while I'm watching them, I'm also annotating the picture that uh, comes with Sketchy. So every single story that they're gonna portray, the final picture is given to you as a PDF which, so you can annotate it as you go. So while I'm watching these videos, I kind of annotate what the different characters and what the different objects mean. It's not really, I, I rarely refer back to it, but it's more for a little bit of active engagement. Now why I don't really refer back to it is that then I use my pre-made Anki deck which I got from Anking who's, uh, who's this crazy guy on Reddit who went through all these different resources and made cards for each video for every single resource and it's tagged. Go through the exact Anki integration that I do with USMLE resources in my Pathoma video if you're interested. Also leave a comment if you're interested in knowing how I integrate Anki with all these resources or message me on Instagram. Honestly, I would literally get back to you and help you run through it. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but once you have set up all the add-ons and the pre-made decks, it's just you just do your flashcards every day and that's it. I've watched videos A, B, and C, and then what I do is I go on Anki and I activate the cards that are related to videos A, B, and C. So in that way, I'm not really activating all these random pre-made cards that I'm not even learning about, so there's still some order to it. And then it's as easy as just doing your cards every day. As you're doing the cards, you'll start being tested on the videos you've watched. So not only did you watch the video on day zero, you know, day one, day two, day three, day four, and then day 10, and then day 20, depending on how well you're going with the cards, you'll be reminded of these storylines repetitively over, over, over a certain period of time. And that really for me solidifies this story and these different characters because in this anking deck it's not just questions it actually has the pictures as well so you could always answer the question in your head and then refer back to the picture so that's kind of what i do with sketchy medical so just to recap i watch the lecture on two times speed watch the related sketchy videos and then activate the anki cards and then just do my anki cards as usual um, Rarely do I re-watch a sketchy video, you really don't have to, which is another great thing. You never really forget those stories. And I've done over 50 organisms now, so that's quite a decent amount of stories that I've been able to retain. Definitely much better retention, say at least 50 pages of notes. I would definitely recommend using these USMLE resources even if you are not sitting the USMLE because I think every medical student should use these resources for just normal pathology, physiology, pharmacology, microbiology because they're just so good. They're just so good. Like you don't have to sit the exam to use these. I think they're severely underrated, especially in countries outside of the US like Australia where I am. I hope this video did give you a good idea of what Sketchy Medical was like for me. I know I did sound like a bit of a fanboy, but that's because I am. It's just so good. I would really recommend you trying it out, at least the trial period, and check out their YouTube. Um, also check out their Instagram. They're really active on Instagram, and oftentimes they post videos of the behind the scenes of how they come up with these stories, which I always find really interesting. I also reached out to them asking if they have any job opportunities that never got back to me. So there's that. And here I am promoting their, their videos. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, let me know how you find Sketching Medical and subscribe if you're into this kind of content and you're looking for more medical school resources. I have a bunch of other medical school resources which I've come across that I find really, really good. And I'll be posting new videos as my exams start wrapping up. So that I think my exams will wrap up around November. So I'll definitely be posting much more towards the end of November. So subscribe if you wanna tag along this journey with me. Otherwise, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for jumping on and I'll see you guys in the next video.